Miguel Ugalde is head of the Migrations Program at the Rafael Landiver University in Guatemala City. He's originally from Mexico. For the past 10 years, he has been studying the effects of immigration both on Guatemalan immigrants in the United States and their families and communities back in Guatemala. Recently, he's been looking at the phenomenon of deportations and the strategies used by illegal immigrants to avoid being caught. When we started um, confronting the fact that the deportations were uh, increasing in numbers from um, 13,000 to 18,000 to 25,000 to 28,000 people were deported from the United States in Guatemala, then we wanted to see how was the impact in the, in the human development or in the human attitudes and uh, whether it was that was the end of the world for them. And um, so we started doing interviews with the, the returning people in the airport and in the villages. And uh, we discovered that 72% of the people that are being deported are going to go back to the United States. And so the, we discovered the circularity of the migration that was the usual thing in the 90s, or has been the usual thing of, of the Mexican migration. When all these difficulties of migration started and the difficulty of crossing became uh, bigger and bigger, the, the circularity diminished. The deportation is just helping the circularity. They are thankful to be for the first time in their lives in a plane, going back to their country. It's really very expensive, but it's one way of making a big show of saying, you know, we deported 28,000. They are trying to scare the people and uh, hoping that they will not be going back. And they are being told you know, that if they go back, they will be doing a criminal offense and they will be in jail. And they are courageous enough to tell you in the interview, yes, I'm going back. So it is, uh, it is not working, <laughs> this deportation, as a, the end of migration. It's just one small obstacle in the life in the, in, the, in the race for migration and they have had worse problems than that. They have had, you know, raves for the women, robbery for all the men, accidents in the train, death in the desert. So the people here are not scared to go into the migration, but the people in the United States are being very much scared of being deported because the, the, um, the show is working over there. And uh, so these people are trying to find out ways of living, of behaving in order to uh, stop uh, deportation. Are you getting an idea of how the financial crisis might be affecting immigrants? If you have to get rid of uh, expensive uh, uh, workers or employees, then you get rid of them f first and you take advantage of the undocumented people that are willing, willing to work for less. So there will be a possibility or an, an opportunity in this crisis for them to still work and all that. So the migrants are, are not deciding to come back, to return to Mexico or to Guatemala on their own. So um, the, their opinion is interesting <laughs> because they are living there and they know the risks, but they know also Guatemala enough to say, I'd rather stay here and uh, look for work and try to adapt my way of life and my way of work uh, in order to survive than to just to give up and come back. So uh, we don't foresee that uh, on their own, people are going to be coming.